Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire 7-inch tablet running CyanogenMod 9, which is based on Google Android 4.0. And if you've seen any of my previous videos taking a look at CyanogenMod 9 on this device, there's not a lot of new features here, but I did want to show you uh, the latest build, which was released on January 29th, and it does have a couple of nice new additions. Here's one of them. On the lock screen, uh, previously, when you tried to unlock, there was a little camera icon. There's no camera on this device, so that was a silly thing to have. Uh, comes with the default Android build, but it was taken out of this particular build. And so now you can unlock or you can mute the tablet, but there's no option to go to a camera that isn't there. Um, in terms of other new features, we've got a nice little animated effect when you do screen rotation. Still not the fastest screen rotation I've seen, but it's uh, got a nice little animated effect. And overall, uh, most, most features seem to work properly. Uh, the Google Android Market works pretty well. Or it does when it opens. There we go. Um, now, not everything works properly, though. The, um, there's no hardware video acceleration. Netflix isn't going to work, for instance. Um, but overall, the tablet feels pretty good. It does most of what it's supposed to do when it's running Android 4.0. And uh, supports basic graphics, uh, multi-touch input, and features like that. So, for instance, here is a little Fruit Ninja for you. And we also have previews of various applications in here. Now, if you uh, want, in addition to using the Android Market, of course, you can install the Amazon App Store and sort of treat this device as if, well, actually, it's trying to install Netflix, which isn't going to actually work anyway. Um, but you can use it to download applications that you were using with the uh, stock Android that came with the device. So here's the uh, App Store or you can use uh, the Amazon Kindle application. Now this is the version of the Kindle application which is available for all Android devices. It doesn't have some of the features that you'll find in the Kindle Fire only version, um, but you know, you can read books in it. And adjust the font size, colors, brightness, and so forth. So you can still use this device as an e-reader even after switching from um, the version of Android that comes with it, designed engine mod. Uh, the f margins aren't really great here. Um, there's not as many settings as, as I would like, but it does work. And you can use third-party uh, ebook applications like Google Books or, uh, or anything else if you like as well. You can even install the uh, Barnes & Noble Nook app. The web browser works pretty well. And I can't tell if it's trying to load or it's just not recognizing my touch there. So, you know, as you can see, this is still um, pre release level software. Um, it's it's based on CyanogenMod Alpha, and there's still a little bit of work to do, but for the most part, uh, it, it works pretty nicely. Uh, there's also, um, as I mentioned, I think a uh, fix for problems with Google Talk, um, some Google Android market fixes, and you can find more information at the XDA Developers Forum. Um, one other feature, which is kind of nice here, is like other versions of CyanogenMod, when you press the power button, press and hold the power button, you now have access to volume settings, the ability to take a screenshot, uh, power down the device entirely, or reboot. So all you have to do to bring that up is press and hold, and then you get these options. So let's take a screenshot. and it uses the built-in screenshot capabilities of Android 4.0. Now that's actually a, a especially nice thing to have because on other devices in order to take a screenshot you would hold the power button and the volume button and there are no volume buttons on this particular device so um, being able to press and hold 
the power button alone and then press screenshot is is a nice feature and then from the reboot me menu right now there's no option to say reboot into recovery or um, or to the bootloader as you get with some other devices but you can just go ahead and reboot the device instead of just powering it down or you can put it in silent mode and so forth. So again, that's a, a quick look at the latest version, the uh, January 29th version of Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha for the Amazon Kindle Fire. It's pretty usable uh, if you don't need the hardware video acceleration and um, and you're okay with the fact that it might crash on you from time to time or or lock up. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty usable thing and it's uh, not bad for a $199 tablet um, if you are not a fan of the Amazon Kindle Fire default software. Um, you can install it using the uh, Twerp 2.0 Team Win Recovery Project, and you can find information on how to do that at Lilliputing.com. And um, you can also back up and restore your system using Twerp so that you can always go back to the original software if you decide. So, again, quick look at the um, latest version of Cyanogen Mod 9. This is Brad Linder with the Amazon Kindle Fire for Lilliputing.com.